Don in London, hello. It's July 12th. My video is all about recovery from addiction. Addiction to either substance or behaviour, or both. My addictive substance was alcohol. My behaviour could be equally addictive around people, places and things. Being with the right people, in the right place, with the right things, doing the right things. Trying to be perfect. Trying to be the way I thought I ought to be or should be. Or trying to be what I thought you wanted me to be. So these days a bit of a change. Learning how to live life one day at a time and keep sober. And it was a long journey with drink, without a doubt. It took me a long, long time to realise that it was the first drink I ever took which did the damage. For me it changed my feelings. It actually let me experience feelings in a different way. And then, as time went by, it took the edge off hard work, it took the edge off something or other inside me, and freed me up to what I thought was enjoying life in the moment. And I guess, to a large extent, in some times, I did. But then, as drink took over as a way to deal with life in general, then the story changed quite dramatically and um, within a short period towards the end I could not stop drinking at all. I would crossed the line as people say and become addicted and, and unable to stop any amount of self-will or whatever it was that I thought controlled my drinking, drinking habits was lost and I don't need to challenge it anymore. So I prefer to live sober these days, one day at a time. It's, life is better lived in reality, living life real today. So what's helped me? I'm very lucky to be alive at all because family, friends and professionals kept me alive long enough to get that moment of clarity. And once I had the moment of clarity, along came a fellowship, that fellowship being AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. And the good news is that anyone can go to AA and I'll explain how and why. The other thing I must say is I never speak for anyone else in the Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous. People speak where they will, for themselves and where they choose to speak, about what keeps them sober. And most often that's in meetings of the Fellowship where people exchange views, experiences and wisdom so they may stay sober one more day. There's quite a lot more to it than that, and the only way to find out about it is really to go and see, if you need to, because what you see is what you get. It's attraction rather than promotion. So this is not a promotional video, I just share how the Fellowship has helped me. So that's good, it means I'm not representing the Fellowship in any shape or form, never can, never will. I'm just sharing my views on how it helps me and some of the literature as well, which seems appropriate each month, depending on what it is I'm trying to achieve. So each month there are words about the 12-step program, which is a 12-step toolkit, the very essence of how we get sober, how to live well without drinking and without fixing. So what is AA? This organ It's not an organisation either, really. It's just a society. It's a fellowship. You couldn't call it something that you can challenge and say, you've made me something and you've made it worse or better. It's just a bunch of people trying to be sober today. So this is what AA says about itself to anybody coming into a meeting. It's on this little card, it's a preamble, and it makes it clear what it can do and what it can't do and what it doesn't do. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is, is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution, does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So, 
sharing in experience, strength and hope and wisdom. There's only one requirement, a desire to stop drinking. So there are no rules, laws or regulations to be obeyed in the fellowship. You are your own person. But people are allied to sects, denominations, politics, organisations and institutions. And they do have they do have ideas which can cause controversy and they can endorse and oppose any cause. So although the fellowship doesn't do those things, people within the fellowship do. So we have to be careful to know our own minds as time goes along. So fellowship is for sobriety and the rest of whatever goes on is about people, personalities and their principles and we will have them and we develop better ones hopefully to live well. Now in the background you can hear the bottles being thrown out by a local restaurant. In this case I think it's Gaucho which is just around the corner from me. I don't think I've had the uh, Ibendum restaurant bottles this morning. It's a bit too early for them. So life goes on and around me drink flows like rivers and uh, I was I was set <laughs> it's loads of noise I don't know if you can hear it but I can hear it I was on a notion of alcohol in the end and the, the boat, boat I was in was sinking fast and my life seemed like it was over but fortunate, fortunately for me my sister rang up AA many years ago and said what do I do with a, a brother who's in this situation and they suggested that maybe I could be put inside a meeting and see what happened so I went to a meeting and my feeling at the time was fear of giving drink up because however would I cope with life without it so I was not a very good student at the beginning around how to get sober but I became a better student learning with humility how to live one day at a time and not take a drink. So I share some of my thoughts here and I also share something from AA as well. Not because I'm trying to promote it but because it's useful to me and you know that's a big difference for me. In this world I don't have much of an axe to grind about anything. Well not at the moment anyway. Something of what AA says today, a daily reflection, which is all about step seven. And step seven is also on this little card, which is very useful. Available at all good meetings. Ah, that's a promotion, better be careful. It says here, step seven, humbly ask him to remove our shortcomings. So humble or humility, humbly, has all sorts of meanings and I'll talk about that in a second but before I get there the AA daily reflection for today goes giving up centre stage July 12 for without some degree of humility no, no alcoholic can stay sober at all without it they cannot live to much useful purpose or in adversity be able to summon the faith that can meet any emergency why do I balk at the word humility I am not humbling myself toward other people but toward God or is it good conscience depends on your point of view and your beliefs as I understand him yes God as I understand him humbly means to show submissive and by being humble I realize I am not the center of the universe when I was drinking I was consumed by my pride and self-centeredness I felt the entire world revolved around me that I was a master of my destiny. Humility enables me to depend more on God to help me overcome obstacles, to help me with my own imperfections, so that I may grow spiritually. I must solve more, more difficult problems to increase my proficiency. And as I encounter life's stumbling blocks, I must learn to overcome them through God's help. Daily communion with God demonstrates my humility and provides me with the realization that an entity more powerful than I is willing to help me if I cease trying to play God myself. And uh, we have a, a very good living example of God like behavior and trying to push the blame in other directions. 
and I think it's a newspaper baron who seems to maybe ha be having a bit of a difficult time with humility because deny and protect those closest deny and protect an assumption of right over wrong in this case this person saying I'm right and the rest of the world is wrong now, I don't know if I've got to that stage of no humility whatsoever but if we look at the opposite of humility the opposite of humility can be described with words like arrogance assumption bumptiousness conceit egoism egotism haughtiness imperiousness loftiness pomposity pompousness pretense pride prideful and supercilious and again the uh, newspaper baron who may be in trouble at this moment in time may have those words applied to them in some ways but there's one they're missing it's not there ignorance ignorance of the impact that they are having ignorance of the damage they did or oh, allegedly this is all allegedly of course when it comes to newspapers and what they're up to because uh, well if they investigated me what would they find somebody who made a lot of mistakes over the years when it came to drinking and somebody who tried very hard to fit in and somebody who has a lot to answer for in many cases and is willing to do so when it comes to it when it comes to the crunch to make amends restitution as and where I can about me and my behavior and what do we all do when we're not sure and we think we've done something wrong we either admit it humbly or we deny it and sometimes we deny it because it's not true and we've been labeled something we're not but then when we're looking at our own behavior and how to live well again there are many things we need to change and some of my words humility can be difficult and challenge a challenge to everything we may have learned back in the day if we let our pride get in the way of learning life every day we feel the pain of staying the same the phrase if it ain't broke don't fix it can be a two-edged sword in recovery if it ain't broke don't fix it often we think that uh, there's much of what we did before we don't need to change because we didn't break anything and it doesn't need fixing and that may be true of some things but if we don't look at the whole big picture of where we've come from and what we want to do today which is to live life well open honest and willing to find the truth and the wisdom of now how to love and be loved then and to cherish people to cherish people and not use them as resources or ways of fixing ourselves that's so important especially in recovery where it can be difficult where we sometimes assume and make judgments about people which are unfair and unhelpful and that was the uh, key last night for me in a meeting I went to all about step 12 which is how to share the message and how to keep fresh in our minds all 12 steps need to work in our daily living we learn how to live the 12 steps of recovery simply by living life well open honest and willing looking for the truth and having the humility to keep on learning so humility is an especially it's a priceless word with so many down connotations caused by those who are arrogant prideful feel they know better and would look down on the rest of the world as the rest of the world is looking for them to exit as soon as possible and some of the words from last year or the years before giving up center stage seeing the big picture that we are part of it somewhere and somehow and living reality learning to love be loved and useful in unity service and recovery as we help our fellows we help ourselves we become selfless and learning who we may be today so if by the end, end of today I've had some good learning that is I've made it through the day sober plus all the other things which happen living life where my feelings fit my experience is a good day because what is the program of AA it's emotional spiritual well-being so we don't need to drink anymore
it doesn't mean life is going to be wonderful all the time what it means is we can deal with life's difficulties as much as the happy times and experience our feelings about it when they're when the moment is happening so emotional and spiritual feeling and living in the moment of now where we don't have a mountain of other stuff piling in from the past to undermine our ability to deal with reality as it is today now that sounds quite good to me but it can be quite confusing when we are busy thinking life we're thinking about how it used to be and we're thinking about how we ought to be for us yeah and there's a lottery today 166 million or more I guess because everybody's going to pile in and try and win with their ticket well I hope well I don't know what to hope for with this I'm going to buy one but I, I don't know what I would do I honestly don't know I hope I wouldn't go and drink again and I hope I would put the money to good use not for me particularly but I'd like to give a bit back because I'm human I still need to live and I'm poor at the moment so there's all that going on but I, I have no expectations of winning yeah well, well why am I doing it then well it's fun in a way because I don't do it all the time hope and humility our hope to live well today our needs met through endeavours once forgotten I don't want to win the lottery or and I don't need to win it either so yeah that's you see there's an interesting conundrum I quite like to win it actually yeah I think that's true so endeavours once forgotten yeah, if my needs are met on a daily basis, roof over my head, enough to eat, and the rest of everything can go along as it may, my wants are forgotten. And if I get to a meeting where I con connect with other people around what's what's the best thing about today after being sober, well, in the morning I set my expectations to zero, and it's been all right. It's been all right because I'm not setting myself up for people to fail me or for me to fail them. So we can keep on learning what we can do and cannot do, and that's the serenity prayer, the can do and cannot do. With humility we have hope for today. So if I say to myself, keep my expectations under manageable, well for me that means zero, and then life can happen. And hope comes out of, there's room for growth, there's room for new experience, new learning. And I was thinking about it, uh, there's a program called, Who, I, I don't watch it, but I well I haven't watched it for years but I have watched it in the past so who wants to be a millionaire it could be like who wants to be sober today you've got so many options when you don't know the answer phone a friend gives you fifth no the yes serenity prayer first what I can do and cannot do and the wisdom to know the difference will give me 50-50 options about can do can't do and if I'm not still not sure I can phone a friend and then my options may be improved from with an outlook from another person but I still may make the wrong choice and not win the, the prize which is living in the moment and making the best of what is and making decisions based on real life, reality, the possibilities so who wants to be sober today? yes, can do, can't do, phone a friend and the answer is if I don't take a drink whatever the outcome painful or joyful I'll still be here tomorrow to make another one a decision that is on what to do next so what helps me yes a higher power a power greater than me that's the truth love and wisdom that is around us all the time if our eyes ears and senses are working for us humble enough to say I don't know the answer but I can use the serenity prayer can do can't do and phone a friend which improves my chances but still the outcome could be not what I may have wished for or hoped for but then again my expectations may have been incorrect or too high or just out there in dreamland whatever helps me most is living reality and when I'm not sure I do use the prayer meditation of the serenity prayer and I know in different parts of my life I've been agnostic, atheist, believer and still I cannot define God for anyone at least for me because if I could then I think I'd be overstepping the mark 
quite a bit. This universe is so vast and big, I could never define it, nor could I define what created it. So, to God or good conscience, it works for me in the moment of now. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Works in the moment and just for today.